Filipino superstars Catherine Bernardo and Alden Richards have joined forces once more for Hello, Love, Again, the sequel to 2019's landmark box office success Hello, Love, Goodbye. The duo surprised audiences in the Philippines and around the world with their incredible chemistry in the firm film, which told the story of Joy, Bernardo, and Ethan, Richards, finding love as overseas workers in Hong Kong. The movie's ending begged for a cliffhanger, and five years later, fans finally get to learn what happened after Joy left Hong Kong for Canada. Hello, Love, again also welcomes back Kathy Garcia Sampana, whose directorial vision had a big hand in the popularity of Hello, Love, Goodbye. The sequel brings viewers up to speed with Joy and Ethan's lives since their farewell, moving the action to Calgary once Ethan rejoins Joy, who now goes by Marie, to work and fight for their young love. Despite the changes they've both undergone in their personal and professional lives, as well as the uncertain status of their relationship, one thing remains clear, Joy and Ethan's feelings for one another are as steadfast as ever. Kathy Garcia Sampana, to be honest, as soon as Hello, Love, Goodbye, came out, there was a big clamor already for part two, and we also felt like, what if we follow Joy to Canada? But then it just ended there, and we went on with our lives, did other films, and the pandemic happened and everything. I didn't know that it was going to come sooner or later, it just came. One day they said, Kathy, I think it's time. And I said, let's do it. I would love to tell their story again. I mean, who wouldn't want to know what happened to Joy and Ethan? Did their love survive? Did they make it? I had the same questions. Kathy Garcia Sampana, I love Canada, and I especially love Calgary. When I went there, I thought, I just love this place, because I love nature. It was spring, almost like the setting of the film, and I fell in love with the people of Canada. They're very kind and very patient. They were very accommodating of us, and it's a good thing they speak English so much. There wasn't as much of a challenge as far as language is concerned, the way there was when we filmed in Hong Kong. Culturally, there was much more struggle filming in Hong Kong than in Canada. Of course, you cannot get away from those cultural differences but we managed. Other than that, there were actually not many difficulties in Canada. I just love the people there, and the Filipinos living there too, Kathy Garcia Sampana, actually, that was one of the hardest parts, showing you what happened over five years in a very short time. In fact, I challenged myself when I told the writers, I want this told in 10 minutes or less. I have much more to tell in the span of 120 minutes, so I can only allot that much time. It was hard for everyone to allow the audience to experience the journey of the characters in such a short sequence. But I think with the help of good scripting and the performances of my actors, we did well in telling that story in a very short span of time, Kathy Garcia Sampana, it all started when we were conceptualizing what was going to happen next. We all thought, okay, what would Joy do? Who would Joy be after chasing dreams? What's next? I think everyone agreed that after a while that any person on that journey would say, hold on. What's next? What is next for me? I think we would hate Joy or Marie if she continues to just think of that side of her. It's time for her to look inside and find the Joy within, who she is without success in her career because there is nothing wrong, with her. Part 1 was great. She chose the right thing, which was her career path. But then after a while, with the help of Martha, it's clear to her that life is more than just chasing after your dreams. At the end of the day, you look for that home and joy inside, wherever, whoever, or whatever that may be. You find that and that makes you complete. 